All right, everyone. So I did a bit of mix shopping between Kmart and Target. For some reason, even though these are both uncaged, I could only find this at Kmart, and then I could only find these guys at Target. Which, funnily enough, if you go to that same Target, these guys won't be there anymore. Because for some reason, they only had one of each left. So I got extremely lucky. Just picked them all up, because why not? And, yeah, they're pretty cool. I've already um, unzipped them, just for ease. Uh, but I haven't take them, taken them out like this, so here we go, Dilophosaurus, and then finally enough, this one's actually blue, if you can see, it does say blue, yes, and then the big one, they've decided to make it beta, so they're the same, um, uh, from the same line, uncaged, as you can see, but uh, yeah, they made the small one blue and the big one beta, which is bit ironic but these guys are super cute as you can see you can push them down and they just sleep oh they stay in that position too so that's really cool yeah and then we can oh that's so cute that is really cute and then we have demon carnotaurus which i believe is technically the first mattel demon carnotaurus toy because the other ones are juvenile one. I don't know if it counts as the same one, but it doesn't have any scar like Toro, so for those thinking it might be Toro, I don't know if it will be. They might just change it up. But, oh my god, look how cute they are. Look how cute they are. That is one of the cutest toys I've I reckon I've bought. Um, Beta, I don't really think does the same. We can take it out of the packaging here. Um, we can just pull out the whole thing. Here we go. There is our big beta. And then we can look at it next to blue. Let me take it out. So yeah, I cut beta out too. Just to be prepared. Because it, it's annoying to just open it up. Now how do I... Oh, okay. So to wake them up again, you just push on their head. And oh, it's kind of like a leapfrog. Um, But they won't jump as high, I wouldn't reckon. Oh. The Lophosaurus has trouble because of the frill, I guess. But is it easier with these guys? There you go. And then with the Rexy, let's open Rexy up. Her mouth up is what I meant to say. Um, blue, I don't have any batteries in, so oh beta, so not making any noise, but that's all right. I'll put in batteries later, and I might include it in the video. But there it is, blue next to beta. Hmm, something's off there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can call this one, uh, blue and then this one beta. Which, do these have toe claws? Yes, they do. They're kind of weird, but they do have them. Because, uh, one of beta's toe claws is chipped off. And none of the toys show that, that it's chipped off. They have it all symmetrical. So, you know, if you're looking for a chip in the claw... You're not really going to get it. I mean, there is another Mattel Beta coming out. It looks exactly the same. I haven't probably checked. It might have a chip in it, but that's coming in September, so a long way. All right, everyone. So I am continuing this like a day after the recording because I've just now bothered to get batteries. And I had a bunch of other videos I had to upload within uh, the previous days just to stay up to date with all things Jurassic, of course. But now... We can finally put all of our batteries in, and our beta should soon be making sound. So, now I just gotta screw this back together, and I gotta find out how to put this back in. So, give me one second, I'll be right back. Alright, so, finally, that is screwed in properly, and now beta should be able to make sound so let's flick on this switch here yep that is now on you can see um and now bait is gonna start making noises so we're gonna push this and it's gonna be a bit loud so give me a second as i clear this out the way and <laughs> that wasn't great let's put it away and well, there are the noises of Beta, the baby raptor. How many more noises are there? <laughs> I 
does it move or oh 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 <laughs> okay it goes directly towards you uh move back a bit beta so it's like rng it doesn't move on every press but some random presses oh that's like a baby um version of uh you know the raptor ones where they're calling out to each other <laughs> That's so funny. Hang on. I want to see if we can get to like push these ones. Do you reckon we can? Yeah. I love how it pushes blue. <laughs> <laughs> beta pushes blue, that's like the perfect one it could have gone after. Well, there it is. It doesn't... Oh, it does open its jaw. Right, I wasn't looking at it properly. I was just focusing on the sounds. But, yeah, every... So there's how many sounds? Let's go through again. So that was one. Two, so it moved. Three. Uh, we'll, we'll say that's two for now. Three, and that's four. So I think there's four in total, unless that's a different one. Yeah, I think there's like a growl, a roar, a screech, and then the one where it starts to move. So yeah, that that one's probably my favorite because it sounds like the adult raptor screech where they're calling out to each other, but um. They've made it uh, a baby version. They've lightened the voice, basically. But here is... Can we... Wake up. Oh, there we go. Mother and daughter. Daughter's a bit too big, though, so... It's a bit odd. <laughs> um, but, no, I do like it that... Because we were given new noises for this instead of, like, you know... The Velociraptor noises are iconic, of course, and I would have still loved it, but we get to hear the baby noises from this one. So, <laughs> I quite like it because, yeah, these are new sounds we haven't heard before, and I love it. The only uh, other... Well, a couple of other toys that have revealed new sounds were the Giganotosaurus Sound Surge toy I got, and also Therizinosaurus, so that's very cool, and it's cool to add this on to the collection. So everyone, I am just quickly cutting into the video because I realized uh, Beta can actually do something I didn't realize it could do before. If you pet under the chin, it just starts roaming. So that's how to do it. If you don't want to make it random, you can just do it instantly. Oh my. <laughs> All right, um, let's cut back to the actual video. Oh, that's the best one. We'll end it on that roll, but yeah, what do you guys think? Let's awaken all of the uncaged, uh, what was their names again? Did they have it on the packaging? I'm sure they did. Uh, but yeah, here are all the mini uncaged and the big beta version of them. So, I hope you all enjoyed. This was, um... Not what I expected to be buying, but I i don't... Have I seen a review on them? I might have. But I was like, you know, they're so cute. And, like, look, they literally just go to sleep. That's so, such a cool feature and cute. But, um, yeah, I was just like, it's something different. Let's have fun with it. Uh, and then I was like, oh, maybe a cool future video would be to compare all the beta toys. I have all of them, except for one. I need, a uh, Baby Raptor. But, um, no, what I need is the Pop Vinyl, which comes out May 20th. So, stay tuned then, because I might make a video on all the beta toys. I have the Lego ones. I have the Mini Mattel ones. I have the Normal Mattel ones. And then there's the Uncaged ones. So, stay tuned for that. May 20th is when Pop Vinyls come out. But, yeah, did you guys enjoy these? Do you reckon you'll buy them? I was very lucky, because these were the last of... 
there were there was only one of each species, so I just grabbed them all, and then, yeah, now that my target sold out. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye, everyone.